What up, people? This is the Balkan Traveler. This time we're taking a road trip all the way down to Zadar. First, we're gonna stop by this ghost town. It's called Popovici. Weird, because a new town was built in front of the ghost town, so we're gonna try to find this place. We got this little rental car from our friends at Amber Drive. You know, arriving style, Amber Drive. So let's go check out this place. This We're on the dead end here, and it's crazy. Wow, look at it, it's gonna piss on us. I was gonna bring my drone, but you can't really because the rain will ruin your drone but we're also gonna go check out Maud Ritchie Maud Ritchie's childhood home after it got damaged by the war because Modric was born in Croatia and they had a war when he was a young boy and he's a war survivor and a soccer hero so that's it it's crazy look at this whoa and it says you got to watch out for wild boar everywhere wild boar and old people walking there's signs that literally say watch out for old people crossing the street like they're deer it's crazy but there's popovici the end of popovici here we are huh wow let's get out let's go back to our car and let's go we are now in the town of popovici popovici but it looks like people actually live here still because you can see new buildings and stuff so i don't know how how ghost town this is i still gotta find the ghost town look at this old school car eh? beauty but look at this you got down the road you got the old slate houses look at that the roofs the slate roofs but it's pretty crazy here i'm not gonna lie look at all the butterflies jeez whoa insane huh let's go check this place out Yeah, it's pretty crazy here. I don't know where the ghost town would be. But I don't think it's this way. I think this is farmland. But you got a whole bunch of ruins like this. Everywhere. I mean everywhere. Yeah, so I don't think the ghost town's down that way. It's all hills. Popovici. Come visit. Off the beaten path a little bit. But yeah, look at this wall. I think it's incredible the structures they built. Hey, look at this. Look how this roof is built. A couple pieces of wood and just huge things of rock on it. Huge things of slight rock. It's cool. I'm going to ask you. I hope I see somebody. <laughs> I don't think I'll see anybody to see where the ghost town is, right? But like, look at this. It's kind of cool. See, this one's new. So obviously somebody lives here. But then you got this. Where nobody lives. Sure. Yeah, people live here. They have to live here. Look at this. Pretty cool here. I don't know, I don't think anybody lives here. Look at this, what is that, eh? Like an old oven or something. Cool. Cool stuff, but this is a semi ghost town for sure. It's kind of creepy and eerie, especially the rain and the dark clouds and the quietness. It's like so quiet here. Incredible.
have no clue if this is the ghost town. A lot of buildings seem run down. I don't know the backstory to this. I think it probably has to do something with war, but I'm pretty sure the people of the old places, they just kind of built the new city and then abandoned the old city. So that's how I feel this, about this place. This is it. I think this is the new city. I'm not sure. But we got our church over there. Oh, wow. See that? Crazy lightning. Look at the lightning storm. I think we got to go this way. I think this is where people live. I think this, there's no way this is a ghost town. Apparently, we're in the wrong Popovici. How many damn Popovicis they got here, you know? Uh, the other one is by Shibanik in this place called Biskupuya or something like this. And uh, we're in Zadar, so we're a little while away. But next, we're going to Mud Ritchie's home and we're gonna have some Thai food. And then, on the way back to Trogir, we're gonna go to the real ghost town in the pouring rain and get some thunder, thunder showers on us. What, how do you feel about the thunder there? It's scary, but I, we're good. We're not going to die today. <laughs> she said everything I plan, we always plan these places to go, these weird off the beaten path uh, places, and it never works out. Like the um, Puya, the squirrels, I was gonna eat the door mice. And the only day we went was the only day that they didn't even have them. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes, sometimes I'm not a good planner. What I can I say? Yes, we made it to Zara. We're going to a restaurant called Marguro. I'm going to have uh, some Pad Thai. I don't know what she's having. Something without spices. Something without spices. But the pity is that the Pearl of the Sea is closed. And everybody says that that one is the best uh, yeah. Thai food restaurant in Savar, but we have the second best one. Yeah, and it's pissing down. It's not the best weather. And uh, we already missed the, um, the ghost town. We already screwed up the ghost town. And it's bad weather. But it's still a good day, right? <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> so much fun in the rain. So we just finished here eating here. There's music playing. They had some nice music like Sam Cooke, Otis Redding, and all these guys. Maguro. We had uh, chicken pad thai, some beef teriyaki, as you've seen in the pictures. And uh, it was beautiful. Enzo's freaking out. Uh, I came to 40 euros. I don't know, take it for what it is. You can get pad thai for about seven euros elsewhere. But I mean, it's middle tour season in Zadar, the heart of the city, so you know. Now we're going to Luka Modric's birth home. It's called Modrici. We're gonna go there and then we're going to the proper ghost town, the proper, proper spot. Hopefully, right? Hopefully. On our way. Let's roll. But first, KFC. Bucket to go. Daddy's got his KFC and we're ready to go to Modric's birthplace. We're going to his home and Enzo's ready to eat some KFC, huh? Woo! Let's get into the Amber Drive car. The BMW. And go to Luca's house. Woohoo! We're almost at the birthplace of Luka Modric's house, but I had to stop. This is the beautiful part about road trips. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, as you see. But look at these wind turbines. Wow. So crazy. Look how beautiful this landscape is. It's insane here. There's like nothing here. I mean, minus a few houses and stuff, but like, look at this. There's a solar panel field and everything here. But look at that. Oh. <laughs> This is Modrici, and Modrici's house is over here a little bit. We're about three minutes away. I think it'd go up there, and then somewhere over there. And on the way here, you see actually tons of houses that were devastated by war. Insane. <laughs> this building right here is where the greatest midfielder in history of football grew up and was born. Imagine young Luka Modric playing football right there, not knowing he was gonna be the best footballer ever. Look at this, in the middle of nowhere. 
it's actually to me it's insane it's crazy like look at this it's actually Mer Luka Modric so he got demolished by war though he was just six years old when the war started and he grew up and he's resilient he didn't let that break him down but we're gonna try to see what's going on here I don't know if it's a good idea but like look at this thing what's that what are these things it's insane wow yeah sometimes in these woods you got this signs that say uh do not walk in here explosive uh because of landmines and all that stuff but here they don't say it, so it's pretty good i'm gonna take some pictures for instagram so yes i guess here's a here was a car park i don't know what this is but it looks like a whole bunch of shit and everything in here yeah it smells like it smells like somebody uses this for donkey shit place to let their donkeys poop but it smells like donkey piss or poop or something in that place but uh we'll go check out the behind let's go check out this this insane isn't it wow you got a nice fig tree growing look at this for the banisters not bad not bad at all kind of crazy though ah oh, man the devastation it caused for this man's family and he's still resilient enough to come out on top and become the best imagine little luca not knowing he was gonna be the best footballer playing with this football here insane let's go check out this side like look at this <laughs> i guess he was anti-social and awkward at a young age too because there's like no no neighbors at all I don't know why it smells like donkey poop in there but look at this uh, it's cool eh? what do you think of this place this beautiful house I mean it's in rains now but he has a beautiful house I can't imagine him living so far away from everything with yeah. this beautiful house back yeah. then it's, um, it's good I think yeah and it's crazy it's, it's crazy it's in the middle of nowhere when we were coming up here we are like Oh, it looks like it's not here. We yeah, we struck out here. again, and then it's just we see the turn the corner and there's one house in the middle of yeah. like there's no other houses here, <laughs> and the roads are so tiny and it's just like a straight cliff at the end, so you could fall off easily. But we're gonna go check out his backyard. Let's go see what's over here. Yeah, it's pretty wild though. I like this stuff. Do, 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 do. Look at this, hey. I wonder what kind of animals live out here. What is this? Just asphalt? Or turds? Look at this crap. I guess we can go check out inside this. You can just hear a whole bunch of bees buzzing. It's kind of cool. Let's go inside. You want to go inside the house? It's creepy, eh? that is his his living room or his bedroom kitchen who knows what that is let's go see what's in here huh ah shit okay let's go that cheese oh shit look at this This must have been like a living room or a bedroom here. But it's a pretty big house. It's a pretty nice house. Luka Modric. Nice place. But man, I imagine the, the terror as a six-year-old living here and leaving here and having to leave everything behind. Tough place, tough place. But Luka made Croatia better. A better place. More known for football. 
and he's a national hero now minus the news that's going on with that momich guy but he's a hero leave him alone screw it don't make him go to court celebrate his greatness instead of condemning him luka modric pre future president of croatia maybe huh who knows and we got a corner sign telling you to watch the bend with a whole bunch of bullet holes in it look at it choo, 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 choo. million bullet holes luka modric's house See you later. Hopefully you get fully restored to your natural glory before the war. The best thing about road trips is you find these cool little places on the way. Look at this. Everybody's on top. We're going to go chill at the bottom. This is on the way from, uh, look at all the graffiti. It's a cool place, huh? Go check out this. Wow. Insane. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool, man. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, this is what's great about road trips. You get to see these kind of places. And look at all the clouds eating up the hills here. We're higher than the clouds, goddammit. We just went through the city of Kanin. We're gonna go back to the Lido there after we find this uh, ghost town, Popovici, Popovici. But I think we're going to, I, I forget what the town's name is actually. That's the new town's name. It's like Bletskupo or something like that. But look behind me how magical it is. We would never have seen this little lake here. Look at this little swampland in the middle of Kanin in between all the mountains. It's beautiful. That's the beauty of road trips in Croatia. Get out there. Get away from the coast. Come look at this. It's insane. And there's Mickey Mouse. Look at this creepy road. You gotta go down. Biscopia, the town of ghosts. Yeah, we don't know where we're going. Look at this craziness, man. It's crazy. We went all the way down to the end. Nothing was there. It looks like somebody lives here. It looks like a lot of them are occupied again. It doesn't look like so many ghost ghost houses, but we're gonna. Hopefully we see a local and we can ask, but I'm gonna get back in the car. Onwards. Yeah, here's one house here. And there's a few houses that look run down, but I seen a guy walk in here. And no, he wasn't a ghost. He looked like a real guy. But I don't know if this is a ghost town anymore, if it's repopulated. But it looks pretty cool. Look at, I don't know. So we're gonna continue looking around here and check it out, but this is one of the examples, caved in roof, everything, damaged by war, who knows. Now you hear, here's some of the houses here. Everything's chained up, everything's locked up. So I think they're sick of people coming and trespassing here. But like, look at all the run down houses everywhere. Anybody knows what this means? Nebirai. Hrvatska. Nebirai Hrvatska. I don't know what that means. Nebirai Hrvatska. I'm gonna go check behind here, see what's cracking. But look at this thing. Whoa, look at this thing. Jesus Christ, eh? Hey? Look at this. Huge ass cricket. Damn. Neon green cricket. That thing's crazy. Yeah, you gotta watch out for snakes, I imagine, here. But like, look at this. Yeah, it looks like people live here. But then it also looks like nobody lives in those places. Yeah, but people live here. Nobody lives here. I wonder what happened to this place. To look like this. I don't know. Here it is. It's crazy though. Little Croatian ghost village and it's eerie. I'm telling you guys, it's like super quiet. And it's overgrown. It's completely overgrown, but like, look at this place. Wow, eh? I take Mickey to all the romantic spots. That one, clearly, someone's living in it, but all the other ones surrounding it are overgrown and done. I asked two kind uh, bubbas where Starigrad was, and they sent me here. But as Mickey pointed out, this is Cyrillic. 
So that looks like it's Serbian. Are we in Serbian territory? Kanin used to be a Serbian territory. That's probably why it's destroyed, but look at this. We're at the circle of the church. And this is a... Looks like it got abused in the war. Imagine the stories this place has. I don't know how safe it is. Going up these steps. But I guess we can look. Yeah, let's look. Look at this. Whoa. Insane. As you can see. Devastation. Wow. Oh, look at this. Wow. And so this is part of it. The Obchinsky right here. It used to be the Obchina, which is like the town hall where you go to get like all your paperwork done. Obchina. <laughs> well, let's go check some, some more spots. Yes, yeah, so he's saying up there, huh? Walk it? Yeah. Oh, so walk up there. Yeah? All right, perfect. All right, there. Yeah. <coughs> what happened? And we this Oh right there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's this no, yes, this, this no, yes. yes. Any snakes? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Now it's a little bit of a snake. This is a wine. Yeah, my. It's good, huh? It was bolest. Yeah? Kisha. Kisha, part of Kisha. Yeah, oh, it's dry, huh? Yeah. Mm. Velika vlaga. Veli, yeah. Da. I teško se bilo boriti sa kišom. Mm. Ali opet je ostalo, ima nešto, bit će. Yeah. Bit će koliko. <laughs> ideš, ideš. I, Id, idi dolje. And then, I, I, oh, right down here? Da, da, nisu to ulič tu sađi. Yeah. I, I onda desno. Yeah. Odmah, prvi, prvi, prvi put desno i tu si kuće te. Ali to je sve zarasla sad, znači. Yeah. Alright, voila. So look at this, guys. Look at this. So he's telling me to go down here. So I think like, he said you gotta watch out for snakes, for sure. But like, damn. Damn, look at this. Yeah, you can tell this used to be a road, for sure. But look at this craziness. This is actually insane. It's a little nerve wracking. In this case, I gotta go right. Death snow means right. Wow. Hey, look at this. Actually, it looks kind of light on camera, but right now it's dark and slippery and moist. I'm very moist. I think he's saying though, he needs more rain or something for the grapes to grow. Well, I'll tell you, it feels like it's been raining a lot. They said Kisha. Kisha means rain. So, part of Kisha means it's raining. Look at this. Wow. It's crazy. Boys, it's, it's super creepy. So many bugs. There could be bears. I don't even know what else there could be. Snakes. You got that uh, Posco. Damn, it's creepy. Damn, it's so creepy and the rocks are so slippery. You fall, you're done. Look at this, here's the first little house. Look at this, and there's so many bugs and mosquitoes. Potakisha. Ah, man. Yeah, so he's saying, Oh shit, I seen something move in that bush. God damn it. I'm out of here. Fuck this. Fuck this. It was a huge thing. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shit like this. Yes. Yeah, so I hightailed it out of there. There was an animal of some sort. Whew, that jumped out of the bushes and ran. I don't know what it was, it was pretty big. So I was like, ah, I don't know what kind of animals they got here. So I'm by myself in the shady area. I'm out of there. <sighs> Sorry to disappoint, but like, look at this. Middle of nowhere, and, oh man, the mosquitoes were brutal. And the bugs, I'm like covered in them. Ugh. Yeah, so what I got from this town is, this was a, before the war, a lot of Serbo-Croatians lived here. You can tell by the Cyrillic. And uh, during the war, I guess they got moved out of the country. And the ones that stayed considered themselves Croatian, I guess. I don't think it was easy for anybody, Croatians or the Serbs that were staying here. As you can see, like, look at the state of these places. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool, but I don't know. Popovici. I kind of seen it, but I had to run out of there. You know, if I was with somebody else, I'd do it because then, I don't know, we have another person, but me by myself, they'd be sitting up here forever before they realized something went wrong. Uh, but we're gonna try to go past this man's house up the road. He said we can drive up there. If we can't, we'll know. And we have to reverse all the way down. Let's go. So now we're attacking this from the other angle because the other angle is absolutely insane. It was like getting attacked by like all these bugs. You see those giant crickets? They're like neon green, purple. And look at this, it's, it's no easier, but. That's a different way. That's crazy. Again, this is somebody's house. It's somebody's house. God damn it. Yeah, where's this ghost town? You know, no ghost town here. I think they're all like slowly buying back the property and rebuilding it because it's probably for really cheap, like 15000 to buy a whole plot of land. So they all see a, an opportunity. But yeah, somebody's down there cutting wood. So that's the end of our video here. Whoa. I'm at the little periscope here. That's the end of the video. We're in Dernish. It looks beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Incredible scenes. The ghost town was a little bit disappointing. It looks like they're trying to rebuild it or maybe I just didn't find it. But Modric's house was amazing. Awesome thing to see. Stuck in time and history. And then these little small stops on the way are even more incredible. Like look at this place. Wow. Dernish. This will be the next video. Dernish and Kanin, we're coming back for you. Ciao. The Balkan Traveler.